So we got this other thing here. Okay. Go ahead, John. I'll give you a little extra time before we've been talking. Thanks. Uh, so you've probably heard the, the proposal to put a strip mine next to the open open swamp within four miles for the miners. It's over there between Moniac and St. George. It's kind of the other side of the swamp. But there's like no dam in the middle of the swamp. If it affects the swamp, it'll affect the whole swamp, which is of course the headwaters of the Swanee River. And underneath is the same aquifer we all drink from, so if they mess that up, we all got problems. And what do they want to do this for? Titanium dioxide, which is basically used for white paint, which I don't think is worth risking the swamp. The miners, of course, say nothing could happen. But these are the same miners when they were processing tailings at two of these mines in Florida during Hurricane Irma. The only pollution spill in the Swanee River Basin in Florida, they did it. They let wastewater escape. And it turns out they also didn't do tests they were supposed to. They didn't report the water quality tests. And the state of Florida slapped a consent order on them and on Cavours. I don't think even Cavours likes these people anymore. And they also, the, the president of this company also was behind two biomass plants in North Georgia, one of which caused a massive fish kill. And both of them caused the state have, to have to literally pass a law to ban burning railroad ties in these things. So, you know, I'm not the kind of people I don't mind right next to the swamp. Uh, currently, their applications are before the Georgia Environmental Protection Division because the Army Corps found an excuse to say that they don't have jurisdiction. Uh, that's actually all on the whereas it's here. So, Georgia EPD is currently going through the more than 100,000 comments they got. Eventually, they'll issue a draft permit, then we'll open another 60-day comment period, and then they have to go through all those comments, and probably the way they're going out of this next year, they'll issue the permit, and at that point, lawsuits will start flying. So what does this got to do with that? Well, they claim they're not affected by this kind of thing, but what this resolution could affect is in the legislature, it was already put in there last year, but it's a two-year session, so it's already in there waiting for the legislature to open again in January is a bill that would prohibit this kind of mine on the east side of the swamp on Trail Ridge. Now, these miners, the application says right in it, it's a demonstration mine, and they own more land up within 400 feet of the swamp. So that bill would, at the very least, stop them from expanding, which who knows might be enough to make them go away. But if, if not that, it will keep them from doing more damage. Now, personally, I don't think the bill's perfect. I think it should protect the west side of the swamp, too. But, you know, something's better than nothing. So that will be the primary effect of this resolution is to encourage the state house to pass that bill. That's my brief pitch. Uh, John, who all has uh, already approved the resolution? What counties? Uh, well, it, um, let's see. The cities of St. Mary's, Kingsland, Homeland, Wake Ross and Ware County and the city of Valdosta, and just last Thursday, Eccles County. Cities of Brunswick, I'm sorry. Cities of Brunswick um, uh, as well um, passed a resolution similar. Already then. Okay. Let me, did I hear you correctly? You said that this easement comes up within 400 feet of the swamp? Um, the land that the miners own goes all the way up to within 400 feet of the swamp. Where did Jones the federal? Going to federal land right there. The small actually oozes out slightly from the edge of the refuge. The refuge is something like, I think, a quarter mile away. It's not far enough. Okay. It's way too close. Where it is, where there's doing the demonstration mine, in my mind, is too close. Yeah, you can see that big drag line ahead, head, and they're off the highway down there. Mm -hmm. You can see it in there. Mm, yeah, I, I think it was tipped off that they had equipment in there, and I flew over a small plane and took pictures. And uh, the uh, crew told them, you've got to explain yourself, or we're going to file civil and criminal penalties. So, of course, they had a song and dance, and of course, it opened. Okay, um, board, y'all won't take and have a chance for y'all to go home and read through the resolution and everything, and then we'll discuss this after we have a chance to read it and, and look through it, and then bring it back and put it back on the agenda for the September meeting. Does that sound good with everybody? Mm -hmm. well, I mean, right. nothing's no, 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 that pressing tonight. No, 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 no,
Right, but I just I won't have time to read it back. I have the first time I've seen I have not seen the material. So where you sent me, I just have to read it down. That's like you got other things to do. Well, I just don't think about it. <laughs> a lot of times. Well, now you have a reason to read it. But anyhow, I got it here. I, I can actually see this right here. I can't see it on the phone. All the way on. All right. Hard time seeing it on the phone. I have to sort of slide back and forth from sentence to sentence. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's just a little difficult for me. Okay, so that's what we'll do, Jack. And we'll take and we'll, we'll table the resolution for tonight, and uh, and then we will uh, give everybody a chance to go home and read it for themselves. And maybe we might run into each other from place to place, out and about, individually, as a group, discuss it, and then we'll come back and have a discussion at our September meeting. Does that sound? Good to everyone. Good. Ms. Porter, we thank you for what you do. We thank you. That is a beautiful river. Y'all know what y'all That is the purest and cleanest river stretched from Okanagan Swamp. I say to Fargo, on past, probably all the way down the road line. I went in the road line the other day and that was interesting. Uh, and, uh, but, it's, but it's a beautiful river all the way through there. And it's something I hope we can keep it that way. I hope so too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Okay, Jasmine. Hey, I'll make 2024.